So we can do the main story, but uh, I think I'm going to try and do some of the... Um, some of these stuff first. Um, mainly because uh, there is a trophy um, that needs me to... Um, go to places, um, complete most of the game, which means I have to do a lot of the side stuff. Um, so let's... Reported the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his gap. I knew they'd come around. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, maybe not. Maybe we have to go and complete the game. Uh, by the looks of it. By the looks of it, I didn't have a choice to go exploration. Which which is what I wanted to do. Maybe after uh, we're here in um, the Citadel, we'll be able to uh, travel, travel to a different area. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. How many ships are you sending to attack Ilos? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. It's not Saren over. Finds the conduit. We're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. Oh, what an idiot. Are you insane? After everything I've done, you still don't believe me? I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. Wait, I'm a Spectre. I, I don't have to leave. Commander, I've got a message from Captain Anderson. Are you spying on me, Joker? No, sir. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. Right now, hello, welcome in. Um, who do I actually need on my team? Let me quickly check. Um... um Wait, have I done all these quests, the trophies to have um, a certain person on my team? Um, sorry, no, I I need um. I'll put you and you on my team. Let's confirm. Awesome! 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 Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. So we have to speak to uh, Love, Captain Anderson. Fennet, have you ever played Mass Effect sure. before? Exo Presley has the deck. Okay, let's, uh, let's be swift. Can't remember exactly. News, Francis Kitt has announced plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. The production will open dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. Kit claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions. Yeah, I can't exactly remember where Flux is. Um... Go 
gonna assume it's in the Presidium. If not, I can always look somewhere else. Presidium. A research station on Novaria has reportedly been destroyed. The exact cause is currently unknown. Hmm. Hmm. Given the research conducted on Novaria, many are blaming the destruction on an experiment gone awry. Administrator Anoleus currently faces criminal charges as a result of the disaster, although the nature of the charges remains unclear. Ah, just lock them away. Best thing you can do. I uh, did not mean to bring up my gun, just wanted to look at the map. Okay, so the flux. Avena. Ward access. Avena again. Avena, okay. I'm just gonna click zoom out. Maybe it's the Citadel. Maybe it's this way? I mean, looking at the map, it, it's giving me that direction of going in this direction. With like the little arrow bar I'm right. So I do assume it is this way. If not, um, I mean, the laps. The map is lying to me otherwise. So yeah, let's keep going. I told you before, you're not allowed in here. This one of the means of exit right. You're creating a public disturbance. It's against Citadel regulations. Yeah, I can speak to these people. Just gotta speak to them. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? What's going on here? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. If that's all the CSEC officer wants, why not just buy the permit? The truth of the Enkindlers is universal. This one humbly believes that the truth should not be suppressed. Exacting payment as a means of imposing limits upon the truth is an abrogation of this one's religious freedom. So you're breaking the law by preaching without a permit right now? The CSEC officer states that preaching in this place is forbidden, and preaching anywhere on the Citadel requires a permit. Hmm. This one humbly submits that it is not preaching to state the truth of the Enkindlers, and thus, no permit should be necessary. Who are the Enkindlers? Your people know them as the Protheans. They are the true creators of this one's people. The Enkindlers raise the Hanar from ignorance into consciousness by granting this one's people the gift of speech. Let me talk to the CSEC officer. Perhaps I can explain the situation. This one would be most grateful for the assistance. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. What's the purpose behind the evangelical permits? Forcing religious evangelicals to register for a permit weeds out undesirables. It keeps the area safe. The Citadel is too important to become a battleground for a religious war. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You. Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? I'll keep working on it. This one will continue to... Any progress with that Hanar? You're suppressing that Hanar's religious freedom. I want you to stop. I should have known that a human wouldn't respect the laws of the Citadel. Why should the jellies get special treatment? Every other species understands and obeys the laws. 
Has anyone actually complained about this, Hanar? Not yet, but any good CSEC officer removes problems before they create a public news. You've explained the law. If the Hanar gets in trouble, it has nobody to blame but itself. Yep. I suppose I can tell my superior that I attempted a diplomatic solution. Some other CSEC officer can arrest the Hanar. It's no longer my problem. Thank you for your assistance. Yeah, I, w I went nice. I didn't go horrible. <laughs> The officer has left, and this one is free to share the glory of the Enkindlers. This one offers its appreciation. Happy to help. This one has little money, but it can offer this. Now finally, this one can continue sharing the truth unimpeded. Let all races herald the glory of the Enkindlers who raised them all to enlightenment. Lovely. Um, we got a thousand for that. Um, which is always useful. Uh, so complete that, and then Tali can level up the pistols and shotguns. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we will uh, keep on running through. Okay, so it looks like it was just my marker which was flashing on screen. So potentially... Are the quarians it might not be this way, but then I don't know where the flux is. My guess it is the Citadel Tower. Uh, but again, I could be mistaken. I hope the other races view matters in the same light. Oh, I am exhausted today. All right, let's check the map. Um, the council chamber. No, give me a second. I need to search what the flux is. Flux in mass effect. Up awards. Gosh darn it, I went the wrong way. <laughs> the anniversary of the end of the Rachni Wars. Many council worlds, particularly Asari and Solarian colonies, will hold victory parades My apologies. to commemorate the defeat of the invading Rachni. In a rare admission of debt, several Asari colonies have invited Krogans to Ooh. be honored for the victories the uplifted Krogans made possible. Alright, let's keep on going. Hopefully this time I can go the right direction now. I know it's the wards now. It was either the wards or the tower. The... You know, I just absolutely messed up and went the uh, wrong way. Uh, where's the wards? Citadel, Emporium, CSEC Academy, Ward Access. Okay, I need to go here. I ran past it. That is absolutely brilliant. I think I heard someone say that... Uh, Mass Effect 2? Well, Mass Effect 2 and 3 have easier direction systems, like how to get to each place. I'm not sure if that's true, uh, but this one is pretty tough to find out where you're supposed to go. Does it contain technical augmentation systems? No, living in the clean environment of the flotilla has weakened our immune systems. The environmental suits protect against diseases. I suppose that makes it more likely you will return from your pilgrimage then. You are only truly safe on your flotilla. That's strange, that. Okay, let's look at the map now. Okay, there's... There's the flux. Up awards. Hey, been a long time, huh? Have we met? Oh, I, I guess you don't remember me. Lieutenant Zabaleta, I, I worked with your mother. We served on the carrier Einstein. Well, that was 12, 13 years back, though. You were just a kid then. I didn't see her much that tour. The ship was on patrol most of the time. Hey, call your mom up and ask. She'd remember old Zabaleta. 
She'd vouch for me. Look, I need a favor. I'm kind of short on money these days. I hate hitting you up for money, but a man's got to eat, right? So, could you spare something? Maybe 20 credits. I think I have around 40, maybe even more thousand credits. <laughs> 20 isn't enough to get you back on your feet, is it? Yeah. No, no, no. I'll just get a, a meal. You know. Alright, let's... Yeah. It's not a problem. Could be nice. You're a good kid, you know that? No, what I'm trying to say is You're I've got, like, 90k and they're asking for 20. Yeah. Like, my guy Shepard could do so much more than that. Home, right? Like, how much do I have? Oh, sorry, sorry, I lie. I lie. I've got 916,000 credits. And my guy just goes and gives him what they ask for. Like, <laughs> come on, man. You can lend a bit more. You can lend 20k and you'd be fine. <laughs> oh, dear. Ah, it's just like real life, I suppose. Dear. In a further development. <laughs> um. Oh wait, I can call home. Et phone home. Ah, easily, easily getting back on his feet. The council has reportedly revoked the specter status of one of its operatives. While the unnamed. So B way, um, I know you don't like JRPGs, but when you get into Final Fantasy XIV. You know, you've got a lot of time now that you can at least try it. You know, the free trial. <laughs> you know you want to. You know you want to. Hello. I'm Emily Wong. I'm a journalist investigating corruption on the Citadel. You recently took down a man named Fist, reportedly a member of some sort of organized crime ring. Did you find any evidence in his office? Is there anything you can share with me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <laughs> You've got Fist's files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. Yeah. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Well, hopefully it's, uh... You know, nothing too bad. Um, just opens it up and it's just... It's a flux. Excuse me, you're the Spectre, right? Yep, that's me. Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. Thanks. What's this demonstration about? I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? What are you running for? I'm seeking one of the five spacer seats in Parliament. They have certain Baroque conditions for a citizen to be able to vote for them. You have to spend more than six months a year in space, but you can't have stayed in any one settled system for more than a month. You do spend most of your time in space, Commander. Sorry. I believe we need to work peacefully with other races. We've heard that before in human history. Well-meaning naivete leads to declarations of peace in our time. We can't allow anything like Shanxi to happen again. I don't suppose I could convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy. The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. The occupation of Shanxi couldn't happen again. We weren't even sure there were aliens to garrison against back then. It's still a powerful symbol, Commander. Shanxi is the only human territory ever occupied by an alien species. Um. It's inappropriate for an active duty officer to publicly comment on politics. Of course. I apologize for making the request. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Firma on Election Day, because Terra Firma remembers you. I literally just, like, I just got 25 grand just for speaking to them there. 
It was like, yeah, uh, sorry to let you down. I can't do it. But you know what? Here's 25 grand and a thousand XP. Woohoo! Let's go. <laughs> uh, map wise, I need to go here. So is this. This is definitely to the flux. To Presidium. Is it this way? No, I'm, I'm completely in the wrong place. Casually just changing to my weapon before the door opens. Ah, there were stairs and I completely missed them. Completely missed the stairs. Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. It's what commander, is it? actually. What do you want? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm not so sure about that. Alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. Don't try to sell me on this. Just tell me what you want. I need you to buy a mental stimulant for me. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the medbay. Healer, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. I don't see all the top negotiators soliciting help to go over the legal limit, Keeler. Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. I'll tell you what, this will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get treated. No trade negotiation is worth ruining your life for. Let it go and get help. You don't understand. Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant. Without it, I'll... I... You need help. I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I, I just need one more boost. There's no shame in having a problem, but you have to get treatment. You're, you're right, uh... I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I I'll I'll get help. I'm just sorry it came to this. Nelly, hello, welcome in. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Um, Captain Anderson's over there, but I'm waiting for someone else. Let's see. Wait. Okay. How are you? It's good to see you. Um, payouts. Get the closest to 20 without going over. So it's basically blackjack. I'm doing very well, thank you. I was lurking in, um... Oh, what, what was... What was the game you playing? It was like last Wednesday. I had university work, so I had you on in the background. And before I could say hello, you kind of ended. Which, that's on me. Uh, because I was trying to just get my work done because I had the deadline on Friday. Uh, but I missed out on saying hello. How does your stream go? It's good to see you back. Um, okay. Okay, so we got five. Let's add one to eight. Twelve. Um, let's add one to eight again. Ooh, pay out. Yeah, let's pay out. There, we won five credits. The bunker. That's it. Yeah. It was more of like a, a film. If I'm not mistaken. Well, it looked like a film. Let's 
six. <sighs> ah, busted. I don't know what I'm doing. This is just all RNG. Okay. This little stream game. Sometimes they're the best games to stream. They are the best games to stream. Especially when, like, if you're trying to get back into streaming, like, they are really good. Oh, nice. I win. Five. Ten. Go on, give me 18. Give me one. 13. Four and seven. Lovely. And we won five credits. Yay! <laughs> we made money at the casino. <laughs> That's impossible. Hey, good to see another human. Nelly, have you ever played uh, Mass Effect before? I'm glad you came, Shadow. I heard what happened. They pulled me off the mission. Just like when they forced you to give up the Normandy. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. Mm -hmm. You have to go to Islas. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy <gasps> systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. Nally! Can be in the Terminus thank you so much for the donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will put your name down for the giveaway. And three tickets. So you've now got three tickets for the Hogwarts Legacy giveaway that we'll be doing next Friday. Um, so thank you. Um, really means a lot. Um, you ha oh, if you're into like FPS games with a good amount of dialogue and cutscenes, this game is incredible. Like the story behind it I am indeed, I, uh, I'm going to be streaming potentially for 55 hours in five days. Uh, so when it comes out, I'm going to try and stream for at least 12 hours. Then I'm going to do at least eight hours on the Wednesday and then 12 hours on Thursday. And it's all going to be for charity. If we hit $500 within the stream, I'll do a Friday 12 hour stream. And if we hit no, if we hit $1,000, sorry. And if we hit $1,500, we'll do Saturday as well. Um, so we're already $100 towards that goal, which is insane. But yeah, I'm going to be playing a lot of it. And it's going to be so much fun. <laughs> uh, also, because you donated, uh, I have to eat... No, yeah, I have to eat a Bean Boozle. So thank you. <laughs> oh wait. Okay. Oh, peach or bath. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. So a bean boozle. You've got like the spinner, and you've got the jelly beans. But there's two flavors for every single spin. So let's just say the one I've just spun. The nice flavor is peach. The horrible flavor is bath. And there's a nice flavor and a bad flavor for every single one. Um, so like there's birthday cake or dirty dishwater. Um... The one I had the other day was buttered popcorn or rotten egg. I got rotten egg. It was disgusting. Uh, but no, thank you so much for your donation.
Please do not be Bath. Please be Peach. It's a uh, dirty dishwater. Sorry, not Bath. It's Bar. No, like. Oh, B A R F. Bath. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully it's not that and hopefully it's peach <laughs> peach oh my god that's actually really nice <laughs> or oh, is it bath and I think bath's nice oh no <laughs> definitely peach it's definitely be peach <laughs> damn it what do you mean damn it <laughs> Happy Astro, thank you for the luck. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well. I appreciate it. Ah, it was good flavor. Very good flavor. Uh, <laughs> uh, if we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to be doing a stream on Tuesday. Um, let me try and get up my schedule. Um, I'll put it in announcements. So Tuesday, I'm going to try and stream as soon as possible um, when I wake up. And that'll be over 12 hours out of Hogwarts Legacy. Wednesday, I'm going to start 1 p.m. my time. I go for around 7 hours. Uh, Thursday, I'm starting at 1 p.m. and doing 12 hours. Um, but it's all for charity while I'm playing the game. And also now. So uh, your $15 goes towards the milestones that are in for the charity event. And uh, the milestones are $500 in total. I have to do a dark and evil playthrough. Um, <laughs> I don't want to kill anyone. Um, 1,000, now you have to do a Friday 12-hour stream. And then 1,500, which is, like, pushing it. Uh, but that's what I got for Fankmas. Like, we raised 1,500 for Fankmas. So I put it there just in case, and that's a 12-hour stream on the Saturday. So it's potentially 55 hours of streaming uh, Hogwarts Legacy. So we we done the um the quiz um and I got Ravenclaw. Um also if you didn't know, I uh uploaded a new video of saying what to do before Hogwarts Legacy. Um how to like kind of experience the game already and how to get free rewards uh in that YouTube video. Uh I'll kind of spoil it. Uh have you done the Wizarding World Pottermore uh quiz? Because if you haven't, you can do the quiz. You get given a house, Patronus, and your wand. And you can link your account to WB Games. And then use the house that they give you. Of course. Then you can uh, you can actually link your account. And play with your chosen house. So I'll be Ravenclaw. Even though I prefer Gryffindor. I'll be Ravenclaw. LG, hello. Welcome in. How are you? Uh, Tell me what to What's do. What's the plan? I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That is a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. There's got to be a better way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He won't just stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. The ambassador will not forgive this, Captain. You will be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. It's your call, Captain. I'll break into the ambassador's office. He made this personal. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? I'm ready. I'll yeah, not too bad, LG. Not too bad. Get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. 
I was wanting to do some side stuff today, like side assignments. Uh, but I think because I went too far in the game, it's kind of like forcing me to do like the main stuff. Uh, which means we're probably going to finish the game today. Um, yeah. Seems like we're going to finish the game and not do uh, the other side stuff. Um, embassies. But no, there's nothing wrong with Hufflepuff. I mean... All of the houses, apart from Slytherin, are good, you know? <laughs> um, exit. I need to go to the CC. <laughs> are you a Slytherin too? There's no way. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, my whole mod team is slippery. <laughs> Not all, but... <laughs> I think, um... Was it? Gabby and Leroy are... Gryffindor? Yeah, Leroy and Gabby are Gryffindor. Um... I'm Ravenclaw. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> so, are, are you going to link your account then? And um... today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. Are you going to play with Puff Puff then? I'm super excited to play it because uh. I made sure to get the deluxe edition just to play it three days early. <laughs> Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Very interesting. Anderson, what are you doing here? I didn't send. <clears throat> Get us out of here, Joker. Now! Well, I'm a Ravenclaw. Yes, LG! Represent! 